William Patterson December 24, 1745, to September 9, 1806, was a New Jersey statesman and a signer of the United States Constitution. He was an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court and the second Governor of New Jersey. Born in County Antrim, Ireland, Patterson moved to the United States at a young age. After graduating from the College of New Jersey now Princeton University and studying law under Richard Stockton, he was admitted to the bar in 1768. He helped write the 1776 Constitution of New Jersey and served as the New Jersey Attorney General from 1776 to 1783. He represented New Jersey at the 1787 Philadelphia Convention, where he proposed the New Jersey Plan, which would have provided for equal representation among the states in Congress. After the ratification of the Constitution, Patterson served in the United States Senate from 1789 to 1790, helping to draft the Judiciary Act of 1789. He resigned from the Senate to take office as Governor of New Jersey. In 1793, he accepted appointment by President George Washington to serve as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. He served on the court until his death in 1806. Early life William Patterson was born December 24, 1745, in County Antrim, now in Northern Ireland, to Richard Patterson. Patterson moved to what is now the United States at age 2. At 14, he began college at Princeton. After graduating, he studied law with the prominent lawyer Richard Stockton and was admitted to the bar in 1768. He also stayed connected to his alma mater and helped found the Cleosophic Society with Aaron Burr. Topic: <laughs> Career. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Early career. Patterson was selected as the Somerset County delegate for the first three provincial congresses of New Jersey, where, as secretary, he recorded the 1776 New Jersey State Constitution. After independence, Patterson was appointed as the first Attorney General of New Jersey, serving from 1776 to 1783, maintaining law and order and establishing himself as one of the state's most prominent lawyers. He was sent to the 1787 Philadelphia Convention in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania where he proposed the New Jersey Plan for a unicameral legislative body with equal representation from each state. After the Great Compromise for two legislative bodies, a Senate with equal representation for each state, and a House of Representatives with representation based on population, the Constitution was signed. United States Senator Patterson, who was a strong nationalist who supported the Federalist Party, went on to become one of New Jersey's first U.S. Senators 1789 As a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, he played an important role in drafting the Judiciary Act of 1789 that established the federal court system. The first nine sections of this very important law are in his handwriting. Topic. Governor of New Jersey In 1790, he became the first person ever to resign from the U.S. Senate, when he did so in order to succeed fellow signer William Livingston as governor of New Jersey. As governor, Patterson pursued his interest in legal matters by codifying the English statutes that had been in force in New Jersey before the revolution in laws of the state of New Jersey. He also published a revision of the rules of the Chancery and Common Law Courts in Patterson, later adopted by the New Jersey Legislature. <laughs> <laughs> United States Supreme Court President George Washington nominated Patterson for the Supreme Court of the United States on February 27, 1793, to the seat vacated by Thomas Johnson. 
Washington withdrew the nomination the following day, having realized that since the Judiciary Act of 1789 the law creating the Supreme Court had been passed during Paterson's current term as a senator, the nomination was a violation of the Ineligibility Clause Article 1, Section 6 of the Constitution. Washington re-nominated Patterson to the court on March 4, 1793, after his term as senator had expired. Patterson was immediately confirmed by the Senate and received his commission. He resigned the governorship to become an associate Associate Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court 1793 On circuit he presided over the trials of individuals indicted for treason in the Whiskey Rebellion, a revolt by farmers in western Pennsylvania over the federal excise tax on whiskey, the principal product of their cash crop. Militia sent out by President Washington successfully quelled the uprising, and for the first time the courts had to interpret the provisions of the Constitution with regard to the use of troops in civil disturbances. Here, and in fact throughout his long career, Patterson extolled the primacy of law over governments, a principle embodied in the Constitution he helped write. He was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1801. Patterson served on the Supreme Court until his death in 1806. <laughs> <laughs> Personal life In 1779, Patterson married to Cornelia Bell (1755–1783), daughter of John Bell, a wealthy Somerset County landowner. Together, they had three children, but she died in 1783, shortly after giving birth to their only son, Cornelia Bell Patterson (1780–1844), who married Stephen Van Rensselaer (1764–1839) after the death of his first wife, Margaret Peggy. Schuyler (1758–1801), Francis Van Patterson (1781–1783), who died young; William Bell Patterson (1783–1832), who married Jane Eliza Nielsen in 1785. He married Euphemia White (1746–1832), sister of Anthony Walton White (1750–1803), daughter of Anthony White (1717–1787), a New Jersey landholder and judge of the Somerset Court, and the granddaughter of Lewis Morris (1671–1746), Chief Justice of New York from 1715 to 17. 1733 and Governor of New Jersey from 1738 to 1746. Topic: <laughs> Death and interment. On September 9, 1806, Patterson, aged 60, died from the lingering effects of a coach accident suffered in 1803 while on circuit court duty in New Jersey. He was on his way to the spa at Ballston Springs, New York, too take the waters," when he died at the Van Rensselaer Manor home of his daughter, Cornelia, and son-in-law, Stephen Van Rensselaer, in Albany, New York. He was laid to rest in the Van Rensselaer family vault. When the city acquired the property, Paterson's remains were relocated to Albany Rural Cemetery Menons in Albany County, New York. Also buried there are Associate Justice Rufus W. Peckham and President Chester A. Arthur. Descendants Through his eldest daughter, his grandchildren included Cortland Van Rensselaer 1808 a noted Presbyterian clergyman, and Henry Bell Van Rensselaer 1810 a politician and general in the Union Army during the American Civil War, who married Elizabeth Ray King, a granddaughter of U.S. Senator Rufus King. Through his son, his grandchildren included twin brothers, William Patterson 1817 who married Salvadora Mead, a Spanish-born woman living in Philadelphia, and Stephen Van Rensselaer Patterson (1817–1872), who married Emily Sophia King (1823–1853), daughter of Charles King (1789–1867), the president of Columbia University, and the second son Rufus King. Both grandsons were members of the Princeton University class of 1835, and William was admitted to the bar in 1838. He later served as a member of the New Jersey Assembly from 1842 to 1843, Secretary of the New Jersey Constitutional Convention of 1844, a lay judge of the Court of Errors and Appeals, and Mayor of Perth Amboy for ten years in between 1846 and 1878. Topic: 
Honours Both the city of Patterson, New Jersey, and the college, William Patterson University, are named after him. See also